good stuff right there, fellas. Fresh blackberries. Morning guys, what we're going to do this morning is we've got our fire built here and we got some water that's already boiled in our bucket. We saved a little bit of water in a cup here so that we could make some bannock this morning. And we're going to make some hot cocoa, obviously with the water. Me and hot cocoa get along really, really well. So what I've done here is a couple things. First of all, I have collected some blackberries this morning. But let's first talk about the bannock mix. And the bannock is just a basic flatbread been used throughout history. This is kind of a complicated mixture in that it has other components in it just besides flour and water. It has salt in it, it has some lard in it, and it also has some baking soda or baking powder in it as well. And then it has just a wheat flour is what I generally use with mine. And I mix a little special ingredient in with mine in place of a lot of recipes will call for some type of powdered milk and what I put in mine is a powdered cappuccino hazelnut coffee. It gives it kind of a nutty flavor. Throws a little bit of caffeine in there for you. And I'm going to mix my blackberries with this and we're going to make some blackberry bannock this morning. Stay with me guys. Okay fellas, let me grab something to put my knees on here so that I'm not uh, getting soaking wet. Very, very wet night. Rained almost all night last night. So we've got our blackberries that we collected and we've got our water and we have our bannock mix. And this mix can be kept in your backpack. You want to cut any lard or anything that you're going to put in there you want to cut that in really good so you've got a nice powdery mixture when you're done with very few lumps in it then i'm going to go ahead and put my blackberries in there now close my bag up again and i'm going to macerate those blackberries into the mix before i mix the water into it okay now we're going to add some water and we just want to add water to the point where the mixture is kind of a dough or a paste. And there's lots of ways that you can cook bannock. You can cook bannock on just a slab of wood or a plank as it's called. You can cook bannock on the side of your fire in the ashes and it becomes an ash cake at that point. Or you can cook your bannock in a pan. Okay, so once we've got our mix the consistency that we want and I like mine just a little bit damp especially if I'm cooking it in a pan probably better to have it a little bit more dry if you're cooking it on a plank a little dirt in there it's okay not gonna hurt anything now what I'm gonna do is just squeeze this out like a batter basically from this bag Just 
just like that. Get as much of it out of there as I can. And then I'm going to basically just smash it flat in the pan and make a cake out of it. And I got a couple of blackberries in there that didn't quite get macerated and that's, that's okay. The flatter I make this, the quicker it's going to cook. The thicker it is, the slower it's going to cook. All right, we'll get our water boiled again. We let it cool down a little bit while we were messing around here. I really just want a good bed of coals for this bannock, and I think I'm just going to kind of set it over here on the side, kind of let it cook off to the side a little bit while I'm heating up my water. Got a good coal bed built up. About ready to slap some bannock on that coal bed and get after it here. Now, here's the other advantage to a tripod that I like so well. You know, my water is boiled, so it's done. All I really need to do is lift up one leg and it's completely away from my fire. Very, very simple thing to do and now I have access to my fire to cook and the water's just hanging up in the air there to cool or for anybody to get a cup out of, they want to bring their cooks over here, get a cup of hot cocoa or get a cup of hot water to make cocoa or coffee. It's right there all the time. If I want that thing back on the fire, all I have to do is back that tripod back down. Very, very, very simplistic system a tripod is. Breaking up. See if she's done on the inside. Feels pretty good. So we're good, fellas. Nice little breakfast in the morning. Sets the day right for sure. Doesn't take a whole lot of gear to really get by. You know, we got a couple containers here. Containers are the king. Cutting tool to make the other things that we need, like the tripod spatula slash scoop slash stirring device slash whatever else I need it for nothing difficult about it you learn to get by with just what you need nothing more you actually have a better time in the woods guys I'm Dave Canterbury at the Pathfinder School I appreciate you joining me for another video today I appreciate you viewing my videos giving me your support and your comments I thank you for everything you do for me for my school for my family for my friends, my affiliates, and my sponsors. I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Thanks, guys. I need another cup of hot chocolate. Mm-mm-mm.